Hello everyone and welcome back. Today is Monday, another beautiful fall day and we have very few of these beautiful days left in our forecast where we live. So um, gotta take the opportunity to do a few things. Today, I actually need to do some sawmilling for a friend. My friend Bruce, who has a sawmill, he has the, the Woodland Mills HM 126. Um, it's just dismantled, so it's not in use. He asked if I could mill him some lumber to make a barnwood door. So I'm going to do that and kind of in exchange, I mean, that's what friends are for, right? He is going to help Steve and I install on the weekend the sliding glass door that I've had sitting by this tree in our yard for the last year or more. Yeah, or more. So um, that's the door that's gonna go into the cabin out towards the lake. And it's heavy as heck. So it's gonna be a big job for three of us to do, but he's gonna help with that. He has a Jeep that has a winch on it. We're gonna winch it down the big rock wall and attach it to the sky mule. And yeah, it's gonna be a big thing. It'll be interesting. I'll do a video on it, of course. And yeah, so I appreciate his help and he's appreciative of my help today to get this wood milled for him. Steve and I went rummaging through the forest yesterday to find these bits of hemlock that were already cut down. Um, yeah, so anyways, I am gonna go down to the mill and Get the mill going the rest of this week i'm going to be going out to the cabin to finish the roof boards and get some tar paper on and get that kind of waterproofed snow is coming snow and rain is in the forecast for saturday and beyond i think so yikes not happy about that but it is what it is so let's get to it let's get sawmilling <laughs>
maximum he needs is eight feet. Clyde was gone. Oh, you came home. Oh, darling. Darling, darling. Oh, my sweet bear. Let's have breakfast. You never had breakfast yet. Hi, baby. Oh, Clyde. So glad. So glad, bear. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, my darling. Okay, let's eat. I gotta go feed him. <laughs> he hasn't had breakfast yet and it's noon time. I sure love that dog. I love all of the dogs. So it's been a couple days since we put Hannah down and it's been a pretty quiet house and everyone has been off for sure. So I took her out of town to have her put down because that's the vet that we go to and I brought her home and I brought her in on the floor in the living room um, and she was there for about five hours because we had to wait for the cremation uh, company to be open like to be able to take her so that was good I actually had was hoping to put Hannah down at home but it's just so far for the vet to come to our house. She would have done it, but um, that's the way we did it with Tank a couple years ago. And it was actually really, um, I liked the idea of it being in the living room so that the other pets could sort of know and then say goodbye. So it was actually nice. I brought Hannah in and laid her down on the floor and put some flowers with her and it wasn't until a few hours afterwards that they kind of realized that she was gone. Um, Clyde especially, like at first he didn't know at all. I don't think he, you know, Clyde just is indifferent. He doesn't really care about the other dogs that much, but first he just walked by and didn't pay any attention to her. And then just before we were about to take her down, so kind of at the five hour mark, definitely noticed that she was gone and yeah it kind of scared him like he had a scared look a little bit like like they knew and, and Riley knew and Norton was getting nervous and I just feel like it's a I just feel like doing it that way is that they get closure and Southgate you know the kitty was like laying by her and I laid by her for the day and just, it was nice closure. It was nice to be able to finally see her resting. Because it's been a long time since she was, sorry, <laughs> since she was, I, you know, comfortable and not restless. So everyone got a chance to say goodbye and we got a chance as a family to be with her and mourn her in that few hours of the day. And, you know, we're all kind of like coming together and 
hugging each other a lot more and the dogs know like they know it riley is really because riley has been here the longest now he's really a lot more clingy to us he's normally pretty like independent and outside and goes downstairs and upstairs and hides a lot but he's been sticking around laying by us a lot more and yeah it's um it's not easy i mean i miss her but um a huge weight has been like lifted just yeah, knowing she's not suffering anymore. So, thank you for all your support. It's been a bit of a hard year for us this year, losing two dogs, and some of you have lost your pets this year, more than one like us. So my condolences to all of you too, it's hard. Yeah, anyway, I will get back to milling this log. <laughs> I'm also gonna take up some of the slab scrappy stuff that I cut off and just take it out and leave it at the base of the rock wall um, where I have built that little platform in anticipation of needing it for something at some point. I'm just going to load this in my truck, deliver it to my friend, and then I have a few other things I wanna do today outside while it's nice and sunny. So I'll see you for that. I dropped the lumber off from my friend Bruce and he gave me a bunch of cardboard. I bought a hot tub recently and it came with all this cardboard and this um, white wrap stuff. So I'm gonna wrap up that sliding glass door in a few days time because I need to pack my truck up with a whole bunch of cedar boards and a bunch of other lumber, generator, gas, ceramic heater, all sorts of stuff. Anyway, and then the other thing I'm gonna do, I'll take you over and show you. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do is paint these roof panels. Um, we kind of have so many things going on right now. I'm not gonna tell you what they came from because you'll see in a future video, I actually have a whole video to put together of the various projects that we've been working on kind of over the last couple months and I just haven't had time to put it together but you'll see at some point where this comes from and it's for the cabin in the event that I don't have enough of the salvaged materials from the roof disaster that we had in the winter time I have all of that standing seam stuff 
kind of in a pile. I just, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna cut it at, like what length, so I'm not doing that yet. And I just don't know if I'm gonna have enough. So I might be patching the, what I, you know, I might be filling in the gaps, I guess, with one or two of these panels. And I have the same color of paint that the house roof, the standing seam stuff is. So I'm gonna paint that so that it relatively matches. How does that sound? Did I say that? I didn't say that very good. They're like a brown right now and I'm gonna paint them kind of like a black gray charcoal gray or whatever. Leave the same, you know, it's okay. It's rustic. I also have these off cuts. These are from the little sawmill shed I built, not the pole barn shed, but the other little storage shed. I'm just going to scuff it up a little bit. I don't know if that's unimportant, but probably will help the paint adhere a bit. So this is the can of paint. Actually, the roofers left this behind when they did the roof. They left it for me. I think they would have had to paint their cuts, I think, and with a matching color. So kind of cool. I have this whole tin. I use this to paint my desk, my little office desk, too. Don't have a roller here, don't have a sprayer. Both would be better than a brush. Using what I got. away. Len wants to be with me, but it's cold, so I put a little sweater on him. It's getting chilly. One of the things I've mentioned before, and I wrote it in the description of the last video, but these cedar boards that I purchased were cheap. So I pay, is it six bucks a board? They're like the reject pile from a local sawmill. So they're, you know, it's not as though it was like really expensive boards or anything. So they're, they have flaws in them, which is why they're so cheap. So they're not from a lumber store, which was important to me. Locally milled reject pile. <sighs> loading my truck up. I think we're gonna take the dogs for a walk. I'll cook dinner, try to clean the house, finish packing, head out in the morning.